Hey guys and girls, Synergy here and welcome to a brand new video. This one is going to be about a personal vendetta that I basically had in game as well. Now the streamer's name is British Voice Gamer. Now basically what we're going to do is we're going to talk you through the story on everything that actually happened. So after supporting British Voice Streamer for a long time in his Twitch chat, watching him and taking time out of my day, my editing and stuff like that, to support the guy, what I did is I told him about a story that basically happened, which was Grand Poober, who when I went into Grand Poober's Twitch chat, what he actually did is he treated me very badly. I said a simple comment, which was basically, um, how to explain this? The comment was, I don't think that the server region option actually works. From that point, Grand Poober then began to mock that comment. As he mocked that comment, he's then got the rest of his chat team to actually make fun of me as well. Okay. So this is part one. So British Voice Gamer, if you are listening to this, basically, I did not stream snipe you to grief you. You can see from both options that literally I was not targeting you. So you can see me actually running away from you right now, for example. Okay? There's a thing called friendly grief sniping on a personal vendetta. And that's exactly what this was. So first of all, we're getting into the first hexagon. And you can see that I'm on the yellow section right now. Okay. Just wait for it. You can see I'm not even going towards his section right there. Sticking to me own sections. Now this is the last guy that I actually expected to have to add into a video like so. Because this guy seemed very positive. Seemed like a insanely nice guy to begin with and you know what that's why I supported him I thought you know what this guy's actually pretty nice he's pretty cool he's pretty down to earth and stuff like that until they actually banned me in his chat for that simple comment okay so you can see I've got my section right now pineapple lantern so naturally I'm gonna secure my section he is eating up my tiles therefore I go for the grab pack that is tactical play. Tactical play means I will get the dub on that one. Because now you can see the amount of area I've got left. This is part one of the video, guys and girls. <clears throat> you know me, guys and girls, I always keep my videos unfiltered. So we're basically, the next part is, whenever I'm on Slime Climb, as uh, all my subscribers and all my followers will know, I always grief at this part, no matter what you do, because it is actually the best area to grief. And this is how you thin out the lobbies to get faster finals, instead of having to go through extra rounds. Pro tip. So you can actually see from the griefing that I'm targeting absolutely everybody not just a singular person everybody that comes in my path boom I will grief them now we're gonna give you another pro tip after this okay so we have to let that guy go he get taken out as that comes for us if you go for the jive down it's never going to take you out so you can actually dive straight Glory under that. Bell. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, I know 50. I'll try and get that for you. You can see Glory's streaming, but it's me. Synergy. It's that, that green raptor at the bottom. And you can see he's commentating, commentating it right now. No worries, April. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> So basically what's happening at this point is his chat is telling him to grief me because they were mad that they were just so happened to be my victims. Now when I did start sniping, what happened is I wasn't sniping to grief, I was sniping to play. To play, just like I do with Aterek for example. Aterek will also back me up on this. So 
So you'll actually find that I was in Aetherx games quite a number of times last night as well. And guess what? We didn't grief each other. Okay, so we're actually just going into the tail tag now. I'm fully expecting him to try and hunt me down on this one as well. Nobody takes my tail, baby. Do you like the way I said tail then? Okay, so guys and girls, this will be a little bit of a personal vendetta video and a little bit of an explanation as well. So I'm obviously not the person you want to really annoy. <laughs> but I'm not going to lie. I've always been honest with everybody. Did annoy me when that happened. So whichever moderator managed to do it, after I found out that it wasn't a mistake, is the whole reason for this even happening in the first place. <clears throat> it is a bit of a lengthy video, but bear with it guys and girls. It gets good. So we're actually, what we're going to do is we're going to show you both perspectives as well so you can clearly see that I wasn't stream sniping to grief intentionally. Yeah, Now just pay attention to all the commentary from the actual Twitch channel. Just for disclaimer purposes, I do not own the content in the second half of the video. The second half is owned by British Voice Gamer on Twitch.tv. You can always find his channel right there. Now the videos are not monetized, so I do make zero profits from this. So this is nothing to do with money. Now I added some text into here just to give a little explanation because I can hear exactly what's going on. Pay attention to the Viking. The Viking is British Voice Gamer. Oh, that's all good. Hey, good to see you, Code. Appreciate you dropping by. I said, I hope your Thursday's going good. That's all good, that's all good. <laughs> that's fine. We took him out with us. That's all I could do. He grabbed me at the end, so I had to hold on. There was nothing I could do. Yeah, that'll do, that'll do. So what we're actually going to point out is that his chat room actually told him to hunt me down. So I, you guys know me, I've got absolutely plenty of crown so one little loss is not going to affect me at all. I do tutorials, I do videos, I do help guides, I do absolutely everything, you name it, I do it. Now we're moving on into BBG's chat and stream, okay? This way you can see exactly what the chat were telling him, so that way you know that I'm not lying. The, the ramp, I think. Oh, so Oliver, if you've still got coins in Stream Raiders, um, once you, you can go into the store. Now, the chicken at the front of this one is me. You can see where I'm circling myself right there. Okay, so the next round, unfortunately, I think I end up knocking him out and I didn't actually realise that a little bit later. Because I was basically on the yellow team on this one. If you look out for the chicken, you'll see me eventually. But you can see that I'm going nowhere near BBG. 
You see, the chicken just run past BBG without even grabbing him. Sure, that's griefing stream sniper tactics. <laughs> if I was griefing, I'd be grabbing him all over the place. Come on, be smart. He is right about the gold, sometimes the gold is RNG based. Very much like Fall Mountains become now. If you actually look at that, his team actually got that gold. <laughs> And unfortunately, we eliminate him in that round. This is BBG's perspective from the actual hexagon gameplay. Now, do also pay attention to his chat room. You'll see some of the comments that they make. So you can see me, the dinosaur, right there, going completely away from BBG. Not in his area at all. In my own area. I have all the tiles to jump down, and you bothered to jump down on mine in the middle. There were all the ones on the sides, but they went down to me. Interesting. Oh, I was trying to get to the other side, I couldn't do it, I was too slow. Oh! Didn't mean to hit that second one, that's why. You can see me underneath right there, on the yellow section, so he's actually got the higher section at the minute. Now he plays this well, he does go for the right section. Damn right I'm playing it super tactically. Stop eating my tiles! Oh no, well I guess well played, but ah oh, dirty, dirty, but well played. Can't argue, you did good. Sorry Jack, I let you down, but don't worry about the bits, it's all good. You guys at Oliver did it as well. Oh god, you guys are competing over the bits, no worries, don't worry about it. Fine. May have been dirty play, but he was eating up oh, my tiles, which left me with no choice other than the grab. They did good, they did played well, that was a good time to grab me I guess. He won as well, Crown as well, it was a good move, I can't argue. String Raiders, yeah, of course the String Raiders. Whack on my way for the game below. Let's just go for it. <gasps> yeah! There you go. Just went for it, didn't even mess up. And again, if we was griefing <laughs> good luck, BBG, what we would have actually done there is oh, we no, would have pulled him again. back as he hit the hammer. However, you can see that I am griefing everybody else. Yeah, you've got to get Just happens to be his teammate you don't jump away from to be the first one. Cheers, Joe. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm never going to beat that. I'm not going for it again. That'll do. And you can see Cheers, I'm attacking players that oh, isn't good. even That's his well. team. Oh, no, 50. Uh, that's actually quite tough, I think. Which means that I will attack absolutely everybody because rules of Slime Climb is if you grief in this particular area, you will be able to thin out the lobby and what will happen is you will get faster finals that way. Any good player knows that. Now pay attention to the chat room at the bottom right hand side, Crandos with the Gotta Kill That Glorious streaming bear. No worries, April, but yeah, I really appreciate it, yeah. Duke Mundo with the skills. I 
think that's going to be my uh, last hammer on that one. I don't know why I'd go for it again, but yeah. Woof. Hey, Mooka, good to see you back. Appreciate you dropping back. Good to see you. Close enough. Yeah, it wasn't too bad, I remember. So you see. Oh, we could have had Royal Fumble. Again, I had my fingers crossed for Royal Fumble. Grandal's just let him know that the griefer is still in. We'll get him out at the end. I'll, uh, I'm not too fussed about winning as long as they don't win. That'll be the plan. 50 not 50, telling Grandal's to go for the grips. On me, so it's 2v1. But apparently Crandall's isn't actually in this. The uh, other guy does end up grabbing me, so maybe he's also sniping. You see that grab right there? So the crowns actually make no difference to me on this part. You see grabby time? Now obviously I can see this, so I know it's coming. Even if I didn't know it was coming, I could tell by the actual movements that they're making. Gradually edging themselves closer to you is always a sign that somebody is going for the grab. Make a good play there, get across. Try and bait him across to me. Bait him into a bit of cat and mouse. Because I know he's going for the grab. And my aim is not to let him get the grab off. Force him into the chase again. See if he takes it. And he does. And does he take it again? <laughs> Love it. Brilliant. Grab. And oh, that well, was the aim of the anyway. game. That's fine. He's out. That's fine. I'll take so, guys and girls, you can see that my the <laughs> oh, hey, personal you, vendetta was completed. And at the same time, that's the only good. reason that this was brought on was for that's me being fine. banned for we'll something absolutely like stupid. So, so yeah, buddy. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. 